people on either side of Lake Champlain are still talking about the sun's disappearing act on Monday and the flood of temporary visitors. Tonight, some numbers as far as how many cars may have been spotted on the interstates. ABC 22's Maliki Flynn is live in the newsroom with more. Maliki will talk about the Vermont angle. That's right, Lauren, and state officials only had good things to say about Vermont's handling of the eclipse and the large influx of tourists that came with it. Governor Phil Scott thanked Vermonters for accommodating the tens of thousands of visitors who came to watch the eclipse, despite some of the difficulties it posed, and for making the eclipse a remarkable event for everyone involved. I first want to thank everyone from state and local officials to our small businesses, and volunteers across the state who put on events for making Monday such an incredible, awe-inspiring day. From my perspective, the event lived up to the hype and then some. Joe Flynn, Secretary of the Vermont Agency of Transportation, joined Governor Phil Scott to outline the travel data collected over the days leading up to and after the eclipse. He said that an estimated 60,000 cars came to Vermont from out of state, with an estimated 160,000 visitors, and that it took until 2 a.m. on Tuesday for the post-eclipse traffic on Interstate 89 to return to normal. Flynn also noted that despite a higher than normal number of cars on the road, there were relatively few crashes. The sheer volume of visitors, traffic, aircraft, and congestion, all with such low incidence as the governor mentioned, was nothing short of remarkable. Again, with all the increase in traffic, there were only 10 reported crashes on Monday. The Vermont Agency of Commerce and Community Development said the eclipse was a great economic boost to the state, although the amount of money generated will take time to calculate. April typically is the slowest time of the year for tourism in Vermont. And we saw a significant boost as the Great American Eclipse drew people to our downtowns, our shorelines, our ski areas, filling our hotel rooms and our restaurants. The governor also said he was inspired by the eclipse, something that he knew all Vermonters were watching together. He called it a truly remarkable human event. Live in the newsroom, Maliki Flynn, ABC 22 News.